So, hi and welcome to Ideal RC's tech video series. I'm James with IdealRC.com, and uh, here you can see we've got a little bit of an issue. Got a rock crawler axle here that's ripped off the C knuckle. You use these small tubes, often referred to as gunner tubes. These are made out of brass. Put all the specs on our blog for you. Go through the mod of reinforcing this axle housing so that this doesn't happen to you. It's a common problem with these. Get a little too much steering, a little too much power, blow out a bearing, and things go wrong. So we'll get to that and some other stuff in the video tech series. We'll start off with this and uh, we'll go through the process. So, here you can see we've got our axle off our vehicle. We'll get it torn apart here. One thing you may want to address later on is these small holes on top of your axle. Drive through a lot of sand and stuff in the area I'm from. And you can see how much dirt's coming out of that thing. This axle's just full of pea gravel. So we're probably going to address that small issue there too. Haven't had anything fail because of that, but... The inside of this axle probably looks pretty gross. So we'll get this torn apart and see what we got inside. And we'll move on with our mod. So I've got our axle out of the truck. Got it all torn apart. Good idea when you're working on this stuff is have a small box for all your little knickknacks and so forth. Nuts and bolts, spacers, whatever you got. That way you don't lose anything. Set that off to the side. Got our trusty Dremel here. Get a little rasp bit down on the end, and we'll show you what that's for. When we crack this axle open, see it's not too terribly dirty. Right in this area here, there's a small mounting point. It's not going to allow this tube to sit exactly where it needs to. So we're going to have to take a little bit out of that to make these sit flat inside of the axle. Once we've done that, then we'll line it all up and know where to drill these holes to uh, mount up our new axle seas or used axle seas whatever you've got so we'll move on to that so done a little bit of Dremel work here you can see that we've got a small little bit of plastic in the axle housing and what we do with the Dremel there is take it down something like this I'll show you why here <clears throat> we'll go to the other side of the axle housing and you slide the gunner tube in here doesn't sit flush so that's what taking that piece of plastic out does with the Dremel and when we do it on the other side here you can see there that we get a nice good tight fit in there and that we're going to be able to mount everything really nice and that's going to beef up our axle with a little bit of metal in this thing. So we'll work on the other side, get all these relieved, and uh, come back and show you the next step. So we've got our tubes all set in the axle here. Our next step is to uh, somewhat reassemble the axle so that we can drill and tap some holes for all of our hardware. I've got a couple hardware needs here. I've got two holes in my axle housing here that actually mount my pan hard bar because I have a three link suspension system on the front of my vehicle with a pan hard bar. So I'll also address those. If you've got a Hambros kit on your vehicle, probably not going to need to do that. Um, you can see here that everything fits really nice inside there. It's looking through the axle housing. So we're now going to drill into these and we'll get set up to show you how to do that. Um, and address all of our holes that we need to put in this axle for these tubes to be complete in here. So for the next step in this mod, you're going to probably want to pick up one of these. This is a tap. This is for 3 mil machined. It's a little tap handle. You can find these at Sears, Harbor Freight, a number of places. Probably about 20-30 bucks to get you set up with 
several sizes. Three mil will probably be your most common you're going to find on most RC cars. Uh, some things you may want to do a four mil tap. Uh, a lot of taps come standard uh, for 440, which is very similarly sized to three mil. Um, you really want to stick with a three mil machine for most metric stuff. Uh, associated vehicles, some low C's run standard. Um, so if you're dealing with something with those, you'll want to use a 440. Uh, you also want to pick up some corresponding drill bits um, to your taps. Some tap sets come with the pre-designated drill bits. Uh, others you'll have to pick them up. If you pick up a good little drill bit set, it's probably going to have the size you need um, to be able to drill these holes and tap them. Um, so on our project here, we've got a couple holes to mount this C-Hub. And as I mentioned before, I've got a little bit different pan hard mount on this vehicle. So we're going to drill and clearance those holes uh, and tap those. Uh, maybe a little difficult in there just to make sure that our screws don't hit that. We don't bottom out on anything. So we're going to get this chucked up in the vise. Get some holes drilled and then tap these holes. Be able to put some hardware back on this. Maybe put some fresh grease inside of the axle, and it should be good to go. Okay, so we've got the tubes all drilled and tapped. Don't necessarily need to run a tap through these, they're fairly thin, but it's always a good idea. So, from here, it's pretty much reassembling your axle like you normally would. All your holes are all set up, so you're not going to have any issues with uh, bolts not clearing. And uh, put it back on your truck and enjoy. This is going to make your truck a lot stronger. Um, fortunately, it's kind of a mod you can't see, but you know, it always makes the truck stronger, and uh, that's good for it. So, <clears throat> we'll move on to that and uh, reassemble our axle. Put some fresh grease in it. Make sure you clean out all your metal filings that you may get from drilling. Uh, whenever you're working with the Dremel or the drill, it's probably a good idea to wear safety glasses. I know some of you won't, but you know, a hot piece of plastic in the eye, that hurts. So, a little bit of caution is always a good idea. Okay, so there we have it. Gunner tubes are all installed. Truck's ready to rock. And, uh, it's a good mod for you. If you have any questions, send us an email. Another thing that we're going to feature are these new Mickey Thompson Baja Claw Top Truck Challenge tires. You may have seen these in a couple of videos we've already done. We're working really well. Uh, nice compound on the tire. Good, nice, tall tire. Almost a 5 inch tall tire. So these things really give you some clearance. And uh, we'll move on to some other mods. So, one last thing regarding this truck. Something we're going to move on with the next series a lot of people have asked about the JK body that's on the vehicle uh, we've got a dingo interior mod um, we're gonna do a fresh body for this and we're gonna show you how to do this mod um, gives you a little bit different look for the JK two-door uh, it can be done in the four-door series uh, I don't know how well it would really look um, but it is proportionally sized pretty close for this two-door two -door JK um, so we're going to do a fresh body for that. We're also going to show you how to uh, paint this body with a factory color that may not be available through a spray can, through your ho normal hobby store. Um, you can pick up urethane based paints and a spray can at your local paint store, automotive paint store. Um, they'll spray right on. They're very flexy. Uh, they bite hard into the polycarbonates. I've done them on quite a few bodies. Uh, so we're going to show you that too and get a little color choice that's uh, close to stock or custom if you want. Um, so you really get that nice scale look out of it. Alright, so some other stuff looming around the shop that we've got to work on. We've got this big bad beast of a Toyota here. We've got another axle mod we're going to show you later on in the series. How to put XR10 knuckles and half shafts onto your AX10 axle. Uh, gives you a lot of steering, very tough components, should be really strong. We've done all the body work for this vehicle, started to do the tube work, and we'll get a lot more into that. Uh, this truck should be a pretty serious little contender here. This is owned by Nabil Jamali, some of you guys may know him from the rock crawling series. 
Um, it's going to be a good little build. We're going to get fresh into this thing coming up here in the next video. So look out for it. Pretty mean looking car. Another car that's been looming around the shop here we've been working on. It's this sweet Reapers Customs J1 sand rail. It's a Traxxas based vehicle. Uh, it's a conversion designed around the Slash tool drive vehicles, Rustler or Stampede. Uh, you can do the conversion on this. It's all 3 16th solid rod. It's TIG welded. Uh, there's a couple different models of it. This is the J1. We also carry the standard Reaper. Uh, this is a car that we built for the high tech booth uh, back in March for RCX. Uh, kind of had to put it on the back burner for a little while. But uh, we're going to crack back into this project, get it out in the sand, and let this thing fly. Uh, so this is going to be a cool car. Uh, if you got any questions about it, once again, send me any questions you got or email me. Uh, we'll get you all the information you need. Alright, so this is our other new project that we got going in the shop. This is a 16th E Revo. Uh, a lot of people really love the brushless version of this. But we decided we're going to take this a step further. Uh, this is a standard brush car that we're going to mod out. Uh, we're going to do a custom set of wheels and tires for it. Custom body. A big power plant. All I can say is, can you say 6S? Um, these things fly on 3S. We're really good around here at building stuff that's completely overpowered. So we're going to do it again with this vehicle. Um, we're going to go through the entire series on this. So take a look at stock because it's not going to remain that way for long. And uh, this vehicle is actually going to be for sale when we're done. Uh, this is just purely an exercise and uh, doing really overpowered stuff. So this should be a cool little build that we're doing here. It's going to get crazy. Because all this stock stuff in here is going away. So just get ready. Because this thing's going to be wicked. So on uh, a side note in the shop, we're always working late, we're always watching movies. So one thing I thought I'd do for each video is feature something that we've played in the shop that seems pretty cool. Uh, this time we're going to feature Faster, uh, Dwayne Johnson, some of you know him as The Rock. Uh, this is a real grit iron movie, a uh, lot of action in it, this guy's just angry. Uh, check it out, something great to play in your shop while you're just fiddling around or doing whatever. So that's our side note movie for this video. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Remember, uh, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you guys have any questions, send me a PM or email us. And we'll be happy to answer any questions you've got.